Not with my church key. I've never opened a beer with this. That's the first beer I've ever opened I've with this. I've got one of those. <laughs> We're ready to go. All right, yeah. well, cheers. Sorry, that was fun. Welcome back to another Charlotte Beer Vlog session. Mark here again with Will, as Hello. always. Kind of hanging out, Cotton Market South End, like we usually are. We're enjoying some great, great, great beer again tonight. Will, take it away. Femme Noir, Jolly Pumpkin, yum, yum. Delicious. Uh, Jolly Pumpkin, one of my favorite breweries. Uh, they are known to be pretty much a sour brewery. Uh, they use a little bit of uh, wonderful sour bacteria and retanomyces in all of their beer. And uh, this is just one that I hadn't had before, so we decided to bust it out. Yeah. It's a, a, a dark saison called Bam Noir. Uh, this is batch number 920, bottled on 10-18-2011. Boom. Boom. You'll probably see that in a couple minutes. This, it's not a black saison. It is more brown than black. Dark brown. Yes. Very it, dark brown. Four is very dark, but uh, very nice looking beer as well. Yeah. Pretty decent head retention, but nothing too crazy or out of control. No real major lacing, just kind of the head dissipates fairly quickly, but hey, anytime you swirl, you will get more head. Um, cheers, as always. Cheers. Take a little smell. You Sorry, my bad. Oh, smell, taste. I got a little Same excited. Thing. It doesn't matter. Smell, taste. That's called premature sipulation. Sipulation. We've been drinking for a little while anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> well, we will, while, while we're at it, we'll talk a little bit about this smell. Um, we kind of notice right off the bat, you, you get the bread funk like you're supposed to get. Uh, overall, there wasn't as much aroma as I thought there'd be. It's a... Uh, it opens up a little bit more now that's deeper in the tulip than when we first sure. started. Sure, sure. If you saw the first pour, then these were a lot full, more full when we started than a lot they are more right full, now. All the way above the, the lip, but you you get you, you don't miss out on the flavor. It's not like there's no aroma no flavor. It's just the aroma is not as intense as the flavor actually comes out. In the beer. But I know what are you, what are you getting, Will? What did you get? Part of me almost gets a little bit of the rotten egg funk, which is uh, usually my favorite thing to smell in a beer that is going to be sour because that's when I know it's going to taste just right. Yeah. That's something, uh, the first Cantillon I ever had smelled like that. This has that for sure. Great smell in beer. We're, we'll do another, another cheers and then we'll officially take our first. It was your cheers that threw me off the first time. I've heard that before. Uh, uh, watch out for this guy. Careful. It's delicious tasting beer, as always. We only drink good beer, but you you definitely get get the funk. But I feel like there is a bit of a spiciness to it, a bit of a zest. You, you're, you're explaining it's like a lemon zest, right? Yeah, I would say there's a little bit of lemon. Definitely kind of kind of spicy. It's it's kind of dancing around on the tongue. Not hot, and spicy, but just. Uh, very interesting. Yeah. Uh, you feel it all over the place. Uh, it's not just it's not just one spot on the tongue. Although yeah. I would say more near the back. Yeah. It tastes a lot more complex than the aroma gives off. I think that the um, the, the brick comes through really well. I think. I think it's well balanced. Very strong at the end. Counterbalanced dry. It is a belching beer, uh, which is not the first time for me with Jolly Pumpkin to belch off of their beer. Yep. Uh, it's like it hits the stomach and it bubbles again. Uh, you see every time you swirl, you'll yep. get more. Keeps coming back. There's almost a uh, a little bit of a charred oakiness. It just, the oakiness kind of seeps into the mouth and yeah. it, it'll, almost it'll coats it a little bit. A little bit. It's, it's smokiness without the smoke. Yeah, that's that's, that's the way I would sum it up. It's smokiness without the smoky flavor of like a smoked porter. That makes it, sense. It's if it just does, got, we'll just say it makes sense. Yes, well, and if I don't make sense, I don't really give it. Yeah, we don't care. So, but, yeah. I don't know, how do you think it would age? I think pretty well. Yes, um, definitely. But uh, I would definitely say it's, there's nothing wrong with cracking it open now if you have it. If you have more than one, that's always better. It gives me the best of both worlds, but... Um, I've well, enjoyed this. And we mentioned the batch at the beginning. On the back of all their bottles, they yeah. still hand label the batch uh, that it was made in, as well as the bottle date. Uh, just to uh, just to let you know, 
for all of their beers, they're all going to be slightly different than the last batch. It's uh, an open air fermentation process, uh, a very uh, scientific uh, brewing process that they use, but it still allows for minute errors, and those errors are not something they don't want. It's something that's there to make each batch a little bit different. You're getting the heart and soul of these guys. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot. It's a lot of fun going from batch to batch. So every time you try one of their beers, you're getting something a little special. Yep. So if you've got one, if you've got a different batch, maybe I'll put the batch number on the bottom left corner of the screen. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. Who knows? I probably will though. Let us know what you think of yours compared to ours. Let us know what you think. We always love to hear people's feedback. Thanks so much. Hanging out. Sums it up. Cheers to everybody out there. Frost. <laughs>